Hi everyone, um, it's going to be just a quick video just to show you how I make my own resin handles. Um, obviously these handles aren't, I would have said, probably as durable as, um, as a hardwood. You know, they're, they're more likely to kind of mark or, you know, get a little dense, but you can't beat them for how they look. So it's a bit of a compromise. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go through my making project, my kind of progress on this and let you come along. Right, first thing I did, um, I went on to YouTube, everyone's favourite as we all know, and I made myself one of these. Now you can buy them if you want to, which is like a silicon mould, but to be honest with you, you know, I'm, I'm on a budget and, and I'm tight as well, so I bought this stuff, which is just your standard silicon. And then all I did, as you can tell I'm a master craftsman, is I bodged myself up like a little mould, right? So all it is, obviously that goes on there like that, that's recessed into there, you can see I haven't used it for a while now. And that will give you a positive of that, I'm sure you can understand that. So you, when you've finished it, it will come out looking like that. Now, you use this, and believe it or not, you use this to make it. Now if you do some searches, I'm not going to do a video on it, if you do searches on silicon moulds with corn flour, it's literally like making pastry. You put down a load of corn flour, you squirt out a whole tube of this into it, you mix it in with gloves on, but the more corn flour you use, the better. Right, so you get that and you make your mold. Now that's silicon, and obviously nothing sticks to it. The next thing I do, obviously, is get your epoxies. Now I've looked at a lot of different ones, and it's a bit of a minefield out there. And of course, this is gonna be the personal choice. But this is the stuff that I buy. Um, it works really well. What I think I like about the resin is it allows you to explore your kind of artistic side, if you like. Um, there's a, a myriad of different um, dyes, powders, and other chemical, you know, comp compounds that you can use to give different effects. You can use aluminium honeycombs. You can use natural products like um, pine cones. There's just so many different things you can do with it. So I'm thinking I might just keep it simple on this one. And I might just go for some black, which is black pearl. So it's gonna be metallic kind of finish as well. And just a tiny, tiny bit of copper, just to give it that edge. So that's the plan. Right, I'm just gonna apply my release agent, which is, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. It's a bit of oil from my quench oil. Right, next stage. We take our primary, or our main resin, and you can see this is a brand new one. Cost me a fortune and stuff. Uh, that's your two to one. Now it's quite important to get these accurate. How important, to be honest with you, I don't know, it's just what it says. Um, but the next stage is the most important one. They say to mix it for three minutes and then to transfer it to different cups and to mix again for another further three minutes so I ain't gonna bore you with that I'll see you in a minute Right, that's all been mixed at the appropriate times it should have been. Um, as you can see, th there's lots of little bubbles in it. Now, don't panic about too much of this. If you use this product, which is called Glass Cast 50, I'll put a link down at the bottom, um, you can actually pour this for about five mil depth, they said, said. But to be honest with you, I find that I get away with, with that kind of depth. Um, and basically what happens is all the bubbles will come out and it's due to the viscosity that you can see it's fairly fairly fluid So that helps with it and if you really want to what you can do is use like a heat gun or To be honest just like vibration. I've seen guys on YouTube using drills with uh, with bits of woods or offsets So that the whole thing vibrates and that seems to work quite well um, So anyway, we've got it all mixed now and then all I do you put it in I mean, I'll put a reasonable amount in this. That's probably way too much, really, for this amount. But I want it really, really, really black. I don't want any kind of transparency to it. 
So tonight, the next thing is we'll put in our copper. So I'm going to make a solid copper. If you could see this. So again, that's probably way, way too much. But it can't be good for you, this stuff. I want a solid colour. So just giving it all a nice good mix. You can see all the air bubbles coming out of this now. I want to put, I'll put a little bit of black in to cover the base, like so. But I want the copper to go all the way through, all bit just small amounts. I don't want it kind of too rambunctious. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there, look. But there we are guys so that now I will leave I won't touch for 24 hours um, and then when you finished obviously you know here's here's what I did earlier you'll get your block coming out like that and then it's literally a case of just cutting it in half and you've got scales for your knife and you see that I think was uh, I used red with this with a touch of I think it was a touch of black in there as well um, and you can see, you know, they, you get some really nice finishes with it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little short video. I just thought you liked the look. That is a blank for a slightly modified barrel. I like this design a bit better. I think it feels better in the hand. I think this is going to be a much better bushcraft knife. As you can see, I like that. And obviously, we've got the little X, which I like, you know. The X is a, a lovely blade, I think. Really good little utility skinner type knife. And I like that. So that's those two which are going to be built. Because um, I've got the fetching gear on today, as you can see. Um, please consider subscribing if you're watching this, because it does help me. Um, you know, and if you've got any interest in the knives or whatever, or, you know, you'd like some more information, don't hesitate to, to email me down below. Anyway, thanks very much, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.